Hi guys, this is Renzap and I'm showing you my PvP Vigilance build. In defense, I took Momentum and Victory Rush because Victory Rush gives you a 100% chance to build an additional focus whenever you sunder someone. And in every spec, you're going to be sundering all the time, so why not get that additional focus? And it's pretty much viable for every spec. I always pick this talent up. Momentum gives you a 100% a chance, yeah, to make your next blade storm activate without a focus cost whenever you leap onto someone. That's good because in Vigilance you're going to be wanting to use blade storm as much as possible because it counts as one of your bleeds whenever you hit them with it. In focus I only took stagger and it's pre pretty staple in my opinion for PvPing as a, as a guardian because it gives you an uh, a longer stun on your force leap and it gives you that small window to actually try to put all your damage down into your opponent whenever you're trying to open up on them. In Vigilance I took Single Saber Mastery because it gives you a 6% damage melee damage increase while in Xi'an and Shicho forms. I, I take Xi'an unlike p some people who don't take Xi'an I use it most of the time unless I'm actually getting bombarded by people. In that case, I go Sorisu, so I can try to survive a bit longer. Because uh, Chien doesn't really offer any defensive stuff other than regenerating focus and refunding your focus um, quickly because of its little stats here. I took Swelling of Winds because when you take Swelling of Winds and you get Effluence, you get a free four sweep that does a decent amount of damage. And you're basically only going to be using um, four sweep when you're fighting in a small group or fighting a small group of people because it's not as strong as when you're using it in focus where it's hitting for 5k's, 7k's, blah blah blah. I and took um, improved centering strike because it gives you a 100% chance to apply an additional stack of Sunder. Like I said, you're always using Sunder, so why not just g give yourself another another stack so that you reduce the opponent's armor much more and even more useful in Vigilance when you're trying to hit them with your actual melee skills instead of focus where you're using force attacks. I took Perseverance, increases, increases your total strength by 6%. This is always good because as a guardian your damage is based off strength. I took Defiance, increases your, or it generates 4 focus when you're stunned, slept, or knocked down. That's always good in PvP in my opinion because you're always going to be CC'd. Same with Gather Strength, when your movement is impaired and you gain a 10% uh, bonus to your next melee ability that costs focus. And it stacks too, so it's pretty good. It's like, it's kind of like uh, Singularity, but a little different because you need to be CC'd. I didn't take Accuracy because since I'm wearing Champion Vindicator gear, it gives me a lot of Accuracy already, so I don't really need this. It seems just like a waste of um, talents for me because I'm already at 99% Accuracy, I think. Some dumb stat like that. Burning Blade gives your Blade Storm uh, basically a bleed or a burn, whatever you want to call it. And full, the full talent gives you a chance, a hundred percent chance to actually activate it, which is pretty good. I already talked about Effluence, Vigilance. Yeah, you're gonna need this because you're gonna be spamming Overhead Slash and Blade Storm as much as possible, so you can bleed your opponent. And Overhead Slash, I pretty much is the skill that crits the hardest when you're Vigilance, in my opinion. So you're going to want to use that a lot. Narrowed Focus, same as Xi'an and all the regenerating skills that help you get more focus. This gives you more focus when you're actually getting AoE'd. So when you're in Void Star or something, you're trying to get that door and you're getting AoE'd, you're generating focus while getting hit and while you're defending, blah blah blah, so you can go ahead and juggernaut the hell out of people. Protector. Uh, yeah, as Vigilance, you're going to be 
all up in their faces all the time. Instead of having quick fights, you're going to have sustained fights since your DPS counts you, or your DPS needs you to be able to be on the guy a lot and burning him, keeping your bleeds up. So Protector and Commanding Awe, this gives you reduced, all, um, reduced damage taken by 4%. So yeah, it helps, helps you survive and reduces the cooldown of your Awe, which is an AoE pretty much blind, I guess, or fear. I don't know what you're going to call it. Uh, protector increases your endurance by 4%, and also when you Guardian leap someone, you get that effect of also, so you get another damage reduction skill, kind of. Burning Purpose basically makes your overhead slash um, obtain a bleed effect. And Force Rush, this is good because you want your Blaze Storm and Dispatch to crit whenever you overhead slash and Plasma Band. That's pretty good because if you want to actually take someone down and you want it to crit, you just want to go ahead and overhead slash or Plasma Brand that guy and hit them for whatever damage that you can output. I don't take Zen Strike because y you generally don't want to use Master Strike in PvP. I don't think it's that useful. I mean, it's good, but I don't think it's that great. It, your opponent's going to be running around the whole time unless you, they're one of those guys just, that just stand there or not interrupt your kick, or not kick, Master Strike. So I'm not really a big fan. And the last skill, Plasma Brand. Engulfs your fire, uh, lightsaber and fiery plasma. Basically another bleed and another um, staple skill for vigilance. Some people don't take this because they assume it's bugged. I'm not too sure if it's bugged. I haven't really have I haven't really had a problem with it. But if you do you don't and you don't want to take it, go ahead and not don't take it and maybe put a talent here so you can spam your uh, freezing force more, something like that. But yeah, to be able to use this on your opponent, you have to sunder them first. So a good combo to open up on an opponent opponent would be to um, saber throw them first, charge them or force leap, do an overhead slash till you get your bleed on them. Then make sure to use your blade storm right away. So you use that little proc that you get for force leaping onto them. Then I sunder the opponent, and then I finish with the plasma brand. And usually that that burns them down, and then you start to just hit them constantly until they're dead, unless they kill you first, of course. Well, that's basically it for the tree. I had a different video for this tree, but it somehow got deleted, and I had to remake the video or the first half of this video. So I'm gonna let you guys see some action. So. Basically, I like to start in sword suit form because you can rack up the metals really quickly, really fast. I'm gonna go guard this sentinel right here, and we'll see what we can do. Oh, no one's attacking him. And then after that, send a challenging call so you have your AOE protection trap. Start here. I'm gonna guardian leap onto that guy. Right now I'm just using all my bleeds. See, you, you got... Wait. Two mills right off the bat. Doing some protecting. So yeah, I'm gonna... Oh no. He refused the bomb. Some actual fighting. Let me jump in, charge with this guy. Overhead slash. I missed overhead slash into a blade storm. Then I'm gonna sunder him. Do a plasma brand, but he dies before all my bleeds actually get to him. I'm gonna force this to that guy because he's just being a dick. I'm gonna die here, so. Challenging call. I pop my cooldown so I don't die. And I'm gonna drink a med or whatever you did to the med pack. I'm gonna die here. So overhead slash this guy, plasma brand him, 
and like combat focus so I could give him a little blade focus or blade storm. Give myself a free four sweep. And dispatch this guy. This guy's still on me. I'm dead. Now I'm gonna go into Sorisu or Xian. Buffs up. What is that? I only use the spec. I only use uh um what's it called? <laughs> four sweep. Sorry, kind of kind of went dead there for a second. I only use four sweep during a during a big fight when there's a lot of people, more than one person. Use. Other than that, it doesn't do that much damage in this form. Chase this guy down. Kill him with a blade storm. Overhead slash this guy, kick his snipe. Sunder him and kill him with a plasma brand. I think I said in my video earlier that I open up with uh, a leap. Uh, oh crap. A leap, a overhead slash, a blade storm, and then I sunder and plasma brand, but you can't really do that before. But you can. Once you um, use saber throw, then you do all that right after because your saber throw gives you enough focus to actually pull the whole combo off. And you want to do that stuff right away so you can so you can get all your bleeds on the guy right away. Here's the overhead slash, sunder, or then facing him. I Blade stormed him into a plasma band and he's dead. And I'm gonna challenge him call because this is a big group of people AoEing. And I don't think my groups can get through this one door. You can also taunt single people. It's useful. Hit that guy with my overhead slash for 2k. And Dispatch this guy, but he doesn't die. I'm gonna grab this health pack thing. What I have been doing that I should be doing is I should be jumping onto someone and using Guardian Leap to um, give myself that buff, but I don't really like the targeting system and I'm too lazy to open up my focus my focus tab and click on it. I mean, focus frame, not focus tab. And yeah. Don't think like I have a free blade storm right now, so I'm gonna blade storm this guy who's CC'd, so I feel like an idiot. I'm gonna plasma brand him, his thoughts are ticking. And I'm stunned. This guy, this guy needs a. Will stun, so I'm gonna pop the brand hit and then blade storm. I have a lot of focus right now, so I'm just gonna waste it all. Use slash, blade throw that guy. This guy, I'm gonna overhead slash, pop the brand, and then just slash, blade focus. He's dead. So yeah, that's pretty much what you do. Not, not much difference. The main difference is that you're not doing that much insane damage. Your damage is pretty sustained. You have to, you have to keep your bleeds up so you do as much DPS as the other spec. It's not that hard, but I, I believe it requires more thinking. And I'm gonna push this guy off because I'm a dick. <laughs> Well, here's the fight that I'm gonna lose probably because there's too many of them. Overhead slash, sunder him, and then a plasma brand, pop my cooldowns. I'm gonna blade store him. I'm gonna just jump on him right now. And overhead slash, plasma brand, dispatch. I'm gonna force stasis this guy. I'm gonna be dead here. Oh, yep. Well, yeah, that's that's it for this video. 
Oh, wow, I have 10 medals. All right. Well, thanks for watching.